Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now, sorry I'm just holding the camera myself, but I'm just in the middle of making some pizza dough and I'm mixing things up because I never knew that my favourite dough company, which I uh, sort of buy all the flour from them to make my bread, make pizza flour. So I've really got to try this. So I'm going to try it. And so we're going to mix up our normal pizza dough by adding some of this in and we're going to see what it comes out like. So what I've got here is my normal overnight mix. This is 300 grams of Americana Caputo flour, 300 ml of water and 3 grams of yeast. Okay, so to our 24 hour mix because this has been in the fridge 24 hours, we're going to add another 3 grams of yeast. We're going to add 200 grams of Samoa and it goes 200 grams and you go right 202 but I'm sure that's fine then we're going to add 450 grams of Cotswold pizza flour so it's around about 60% hydration we've got that and then we add our 300 ml of water on top of that This is lukewarm water that we're adding in, so you don't want it too hot because it'll kill the yeast. So there we go, we've got that. So then we take this mix and we put it in our mixer and mix it up and then I'll show you what the dough ball looks like. So there we go, it's mixing up now. Now obviously it's a little bit noisier than doing it by hand, but it is a bit tidier as well. And to be honest, it works just as well. Sure, sometimes it's nice to do things by hand, it's nice to get the feel of the dough and things. But this mixer does just as good a job and it's fantastic when it comes out. Okay, so as you can see, there's our dough ball. It looks fantastic. We're just going to cover it up and leave it for six hours and have pizza tonight. Okay, so it's been around six hours, maybe a little bit longer since we last put the dough all together and made our dough ball. And as you can see, it's risen up really nice and it's so airy and light. Look at that, look down there. Look at that structure, it's amazing. It's a wee bit sticky, but that's okay. So we're just going to boil this up into six 250 gram dough balls, and then we're going to make pizza with the Cotswold pizza flour, Capital Americana mix. It's going to taste so good, can't wait to try it. Okay, so we boiled up the dough balls, as you can see, uh, and uh, it's looking good. It smells nice, actually, given that it's fermented for a while. As you know, it's a mixture of the Caputo Americana flour and the Cotswold uh, pizza flour, which is new to us. We've never tried it before, so it's it's different mixing it up. And we're going to see what it comes out like, but I'm excited to try it because I really like the Cotswold flour. We use it for all our bread that we make. Uh, we do have a little shortened channel showing you how to make our bread, and but that's flour we use in it. So, okay, we're going to just sauce this up now and uh, we'll see what it comes out like. We're just going to make a margarita with this mix of flowers because uh, that's always the best one to try it out on. Simple's best when it comes to testing out these flowers I reckon. So nice margarita and then we'll see what it tastes like. So we've got some four de latte which we're going to spread around as usual. Put it on the peel Oops, mess it up completely when you put it in the peel. The dough's so white, I almost flew it into the next garden. But never mind. Right, so let's get this in the oven and we'll try it out. The oven's very hot, so this shouldn't take long at all. Okay, so this looks really nice actually. Let me just hang my peel up, get a bit of basil on the top. Look at that, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That looks really nice actually. Got a lovely crust, it smells good. Listen to that crisp, listen. Really sort of crunchy uh, sounding. Smells so good as well. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Looks really, really nice. 
I'm liking this flour so far. Okay, so we've walked you through the whole step of how to make this pizza. Quite easy daily. Uh, and it looks absolutely delicious. The bottom's cooked really nice. It smells delicious. Mm. Tastes delicious. And the structure on the inside of the dough is amazing, really. So yeah, that, I'm really impressed with that dough, actually. I'm impressed with it. I like the mix. Maybe I'll try it at some point, just using all uh, Cotswold pizza flour, just to see what that comes out like. But that mix of Americano and that has worked really well. So yeah, I totally rate that pizza flour, so well done. It's up there. It's one of the best ones I've tried so far. So yeah, like, subscribe, check out the book. We'll see you next time. Bye.